Okay, so today we are looking at a Ghost BSD, which of course is not Linux, but is based on BSD, and in particular, Ghost BSD is based on FreeBSD, and this is uh, one of the later releases uh, on the website. If you go look normally, you'll you'll find that it's an older edition, but if you scroll down uh, for something a little newer you'll find the new version there. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start off by installing Ghost BSD. I'm going to take a look at it. So English is fine. Keyboard English US is okay. Uh, I'm just going to choose uh, LA. So it's just going to find it down here. Go next. Full disk partitioning. I'm going to do single disk. Uh, we're going to use this disk here. Swap size, we'll do it to give swap. Next, free PSD by a slower. Give this a strong password for the root, real name. That's fine. Install. And I'm going to let it uh, install. And we'll be back once it's done. Okay, so installation is complete. Let's do a reboot. Okay, so let's log in. Oh, let's actually have a very quick uh, install of, of it. So, out of the box accessories, a couple of Marte tools, uh, plumas, a text editor, uh, graphics, I have Marte, Marte, color selection, internet. Firefox, Office, nothing much really except a document view and a dictionary and evolution. Uh, VLC, that's the media player. System tools, Kaja as the file manager. Uh, system monitor, using about 546 megs of memory, hardly any and really low CPU usage. And of course, using ZFS as the main file system, you'll see here using the latest Marte 1.26 and a release of Ghost uh, BSD using FreeBSD 13.2. Uh, and of course, the terminal. By default, it uses Fish. Places, of course, home, folder, desktop, connect to server, system, uh, configuration, look and feel, um, even station to administration, control center. So I'm going to go to the control center and basically backup station, software station, update station, station tweaks is done by the Ghost BSD uh, team themselves. So a station tweak, basically, if you, how you want to rearrange your interface. You want a multi desktop. If you want something to look more Windowsy, um, and then of course, and it goes and it changes uh, the layout. I'm just going to put this back to multi. And um, Windows traditional buttons on the right. I'm going to move mine to the left. And here, what desktop icons you want to show or don't want to show. So let's close that. Um, let's go to the update station. Okay, we're just checking in the background. Okay, computer's up to date and updates there. So let's go to software station. And I was reading that Ghost PSD does you does also make use of ports as well, but uh, it's not recommended to use FreeSD ports straight out of the box. It's recommended to use Ghost PSD's implementation of it. And uh, the easiest way to actually do that is to actually use uh, software station as well. Um, so let's go to net w so let's see what's available okay so it's chromium based web browser available out of the box
uh, even the VMware display drivers available. So let's go ahead and install these, apply these quickly. It's going to bring in quite a couple of packages. Um, and something I've, I have found with a PST, and I think it's more dependent on the mirror than anything else, sometimes putting down the files or updates can be a little bit slower um, than I'd like. So in the meantime, this is uh, busy putting these down now in the background. Yeah, it seems to be actually working quite quickly this time, which is pretty great. Um, so if we just click on Chromium, we'll see uh, that uh, Chromium has been installed uh, at least. Uh, XFCE uh, VMware video driver is also installed. So if I do a quick reboot, hopefully it should pick that up. Yeah, that didn't seem to work for whatever reason. Anyway, um, but at least we can easily add and remove uh, applications uh, as as needed as well. So let's go take a look again. I'm going to try from the terminal. So package install yeah, fetch. Yes. And there we go. And of course it shows us uh, goes to BSD. Um, oh yeah, and I have it using the old adapter, that's why I'll probably need to just reconfigure it to use the newer uh, adapter. BSD config of small is a utility made uh, for free BSD where you can reconfigure parts of the machine after you've installed it if you need to as well. Um, so if you need to reconfigure where it gets its packages from, uh, root password, disk management plugin, even the console, um, etc. Uh, you can do it from here, really great uh, tool. And of course, since this is based on FreeBSD, it of course works uh, perfectly fine on GhostBSD. And of course here, we're just checking the type of services that we've got allowed to start up at the time. Uh, so, who is this for? Well, GhostBSD is really for the person if you really want to get more involved and understand BSD a lot better, especially on the free BSD side, and you want a something that's close uh, to the desktop out of the box, um, instead of going ahead and configuring free BSD from scratch and you want something semi-working, this is probably the best that you're going to get right now. Um, definitely something I'd uh, recommend using. Just uh, be sure to realize the slight differences between the two, especially around port portage, but rest of it, yeah. Uh, pretty great, awesome uh, operating system. I've used uh, BSDs and Ghost BSD before, as well as free BSD, and uh, really, really popular, and really, really great. Um, and I'm not going to do too much more around it right now. I'll do a follow-up video in the future. But folks, as always, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Bye for now.